how's it? Welcome along to Basil's Garage. Um, thought we'd have a go at putting a CVT into a lawnmower. Uh, so CVT, constant velocity transmission, or constantly variable transmission, whichever way you want to look at it. Basically what it allows us to do is to change ratios as we're driving the mower. So, so what it effectively does is you start off with one ratio and then as you rev it up it changes to another ratio. So for smaller engines that could be quite a good idea, uh, gives you slightly more rev range, um, you can have a better acceleration and, and maybe a slightly higher top end. So what I've done is I've squeezed it into this mower here, so um, I'll just sort of show you what it looks like. I'll pull the cover off and I'll go and throw that over here. Right, so this is what it's looking like inside the mower. So I've got my full CVT in here. I've got my normal right angle gearbox. It's got a normal belt just like any other mower, normal belt through there. I've extended the shaft, it comes through to the CVT. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wheel off and then um, I can show you exactly what it looks like inside. So we'll just undo this. It'll be best if I get the right size socket would be a good start. Bear with. Right, so now we can undo it. Take the wheel off, put that over there, out of the way, and then I'll just take the cover off so you can see what it looks like under the cover. So I've only just got this going uh, a couple of days ago and tried it out for the first time, took it out to the paddock and um, my initial start with the gear ratios is not quite right, so it's revving out too much and hasn't got a high enough top speed. So um, also had some issues with some belt slip underneath, but I think I've addressed that now with a bit more tensioner on it and um, looking at playing around with the pulley sizes as well. So, so that's what it looks like inside there. So what you have is you've got a pulley and a pulley, and these change size. So this one starts small to big, which obviously gives you uh, a lower ratio. And then as it revs up, this one here will drop down, and this one here will come up here, and it changes it to a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, I have put an extended shaft and an extra bearing on it um, and just squeezed the whole lot inside there at the moment. So this was just my normal class one mower uh, and now it just all squeezes in. So what I'll do is I'll start it up and um, I'll see if I can show you it working. So I better turn the fuel on and and then we'll, uh, we'll start it up. So hopefully from there you can see it and then we'll give it a start. So hopefully you can see that working uh, and uh, yeah it seems to be quite interesting so we'll give it a bit of a try it's in the early days of uh, playing with it at the moment I've just added it on to the original mower and um, once we uh, once we play around with the gearing a little bit um, I've changed this pulleys underneath to try and get the input speed a bit higher so that it engages earlier. You can also play with the springs on the actual CVT themselves and you can make it engage quicker or later uh, and also change how quickly it changes its gears. So that's a whole lot of learning to be done but the basic concept is in there uh, and I'll keep you updated once I've, uh, once I've done a bit more playing around with it. So uh, until next time, Basis Garage.